So I've had a lot of questions about how you can create interactive uh, Google Slides um, if you want students to be able to annotate on an activity or fill out an activity that normally it would be a PDF that you would have printed out and you would have you know given to your students in a classroom setting. Uh, now you can't, one way is to push out as a PDF in Google Classroom and have students use a tool like Kami to complete it, but oftentimes that can be a little challenging for your students. And so one way you can do it is to use Google Slides and turn them into interactive activities. So I've got a Google Slide uh, open here. And one of the first things you're gonna wanna do is depending on what kind of activity you have, is you're going to uh, set up the settings for it so that it is the same as like a piece of paper. So I'm gonna go to custom setup here. And so eight and a half by 11, just like a piece of paper. Notice it's gonna be in portrait mode. So that means if your activity is gonna be in portrait, that's gonna work. If it's gonna be in landscape, that's not gonna work. Uh, so you would switch those measurements. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to take this blank piece of paper and I'm gonna turn this into an interactive. So we're gonna give this a name. What you can do here is actually upload your document that was a PDF, as long as you've converted it to an image, you can upload it. And so to very easily do that, you can use a tool online called PDF to JPEG. And what it lets you do is it lets you upload. So I could choose the PDF that I wanna turn into an image. So on my desktop, notice I've got this compare and contrast activity. So I'm gonna upload that. And I'm gonna choose that I want it to be the best quality and the reason you want it to be the best quality is so that it will when you stretch it out it's going to look good so i'm going to say yes i want that and i'm going to say convert magic is happening all in the in the web there and it's going to turn it into from a portable uh document file to a jpeg which means we can work with it so i'm going to say here here it is i got one page and i'm going to download it so now i'm going to have this new image so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back over here to my slide that i've created and this is what's great about this is that i can share this out as a collaborative activity with students or i can uh, make force a copy for each student inside of google classroom Just right click here and i'm going to say change the background on this and this allows me to add something to it that students won't mess up and then we're going to add in the boxes that they'll complete so I'm gonna say choose an image and right here, remember here's the one I just converted that compare and contrast right there and I'm gonna click done. So now this right here is on there. I can't mess it up, I can't move it, I can't manipulate it and this is a great, it was a free activity from Read, Write, Think. So I've uploaded it, now it's the background. So what I can do so that students can fill this out is that I can now insert in text boxes and I can put them right where I want them to fill them out so that they know that they're there. You can also uh, put a little line around it and you can also change the color so that it stands out. So I want you students to know that there's box one that I want to fill out right there. I'm going to do another box. I'm going to put that box uh, two over here so they can. So now I can just type in those two boxes. Now, obviously this right here has got several lines in it. So I could do the same thing with the same box. I'm going to copy this box. But this time I'm gonna make the box fill up this whole space so that students can type in everything they need to in that box. So if I start to, I can click on it and I can just start typing. Uh, and if you need to make those lines bigger, or maybe I picked green, but I might wanna do another color because the green uh, matches what's on there, but maybe I wanna put red so it stands out that they see that there's now a box that they need to fill out, okay? And I could do the same thing up here. I could turn that to red. There we go. And I've got two more boxes down here. So I'm gonna copy this one one more time. And I'm going to put it right here. I'm just going to resize it so it fits inside of this one right here. I'm going to copy that one and put it right here. So now this is a document that students can see the activities, but then you can put instructions. And the other really cool thing is I can actually put instructions over here to the side of this document and say, complete the activity by filling in the text boxes and I can actually make this a little bit larger so now there's some instructions on here for students that they'll see there you go so that's how you can create an interactive activity using Google Slides adding your PDF converting it to an image and uploading it as a background inside of Google Slides I'm going to go to page setup on this one and we're going to make sure that we have this one set up as 11 by eight and a half. So that means it's going to be in a uh, landscape mode. So this is gonna work for a piece of, you know, standard piece of paper. So if you did wanna print it, you could. And we're gonna remove those pieces right there. All right, so we have our piece of paper here. So now what we wanna do is we wanna upload an image on the back that we wanna be able to use. So I'm going to say change background. I'm gonna choose an image. I'm gonna upload this one. So now this is a uh, graphic organizer on William Shakespeare. So now I can actually, add in uh, boxes. So we're gonna name this activity. And now I will add in those boxes, X boxes, 
in here where I want students to fill that out. And so that they stand out and they understand there's different ones, I can change the width of this outside line and I can do this in colors. So maybe I want the career one to be in one color. And I'm going to make this one contributions to society and just reshape that text box as well. And I might change that to another color. But as you can see, I can make this a visually interesting activity. We'll go with blue on that one. Notice I just move that up there just so it fits inside. And I'm going to do one more, uh, two more down here. Notice I've got all these different color boxes, but I, need, I have this one right here, the basic facts here. Uh, I can add in uh, another one. So I can use, I use text boxes, but I can also use shapes, which is really easy for students as well. So I can go up here and I can say, I'd like to insert a shape and we need an oval to go right here. So I can do an oval that fits right here. And what's great about shapes is it's automatically a text box. So I did text boxes, but I can also just do this as a shape and students can do that. And I can also fill in that line and we'll make that one yellow and make sure it's wider on the outside. So now I've got that box to fill in as well. So that's another activity easily made. So here's another activity that you can do, which allows not just the text boxes and typing on and filling out boxes, but allows students to use the, the drawing tools that are actually inside of Google Slides. So what I'm gonna do here is, this is a plant cell activity. So I'm gonna right click over here and I'm gonna say, change the background. I'm gonna browse for that activity. I so another type of activity that you might want to try is where students actually have to annotate on a document. And so in order to do that, we're actually going to upload that image to the background of a Google slide deck uh, and be able to use the tools inside of slides. So I'm going to upload that plant cell and that's going to fill the entire space here, which is great. So now what I can use is these drawing tools up here because notice I can draw lines, elbow connectors and things like that. So I can draw lines. I can resize the lines and I can add in text boxes as well. So I can put in a text box so you could have students label the parts of the cell and it doesn't. And the great thing is, is if you're not printing this, they can go outside of the actual page here. So I can have boxes up here with labels all around or I can have them labeled on here. Uh, it's a great way to use those drawing tools. And I can also even use uh, different squiggly lines and polylines and curve lines so I can actually annotate on the document as well. So I can circle elements and I can draw a particular shape as well. I can draw shapes on there too. So you could have students create their own example inside of slides as well. If you have any questions, let me know. If you found this uh, tutorial beneficial, let me know by uh, giving this video a thumbs up, liking and subscribing the channel. And uh, so you'll be notified for any future videos. Thanks so much. Appreciate you watching.